Okay, it's two o'clock. We'll call this to order. Item number two, public comments and committee comments. Item three, surplus vehicles equipment list. Okay, every couple of years we go through the equipment that we're not using anymore and we have to surplus it prior to or to get rid of it. Um, so you'll see we have four different vehicles on here um, and a whole list of uh, other surplus items, miscellaneous. Um, so. so so it's a closed bid process. We'll advertise it probably in the swap sheet, put it on the on the website and then we'll set a due date for sealed bids and on that date at that time we'll open them up and we'll award it to whoever's the highest bidder. Of course with the vehicles we're doing reserves now we're going to have a little reserve so that we're not giving away vehicles. So well just to let you know I had a visit was it last week from the new general manager of Ransburg Community Water District and his maintenance person. And he was telling me, telling me that they're in some financial difficulties and was wondering if there were opportunities to partner with the water district in purchasing. I talked to Ty, I don't think, it's not like we get big discounts for volume purchases, but I did tell him we'd provide him with a list of equipment and the vehicles he was interested in, any used vehicles we had or anything else. So we'll make sure that he gets the copy of the list for sure. Um, they're, all, they're in need of a lot of stuff, and there's office equipment on here, little uh, computers and stuff usually. So anyway, we'll make sure they get the list. Okay. Any other comments or questions? Now that that one, I probably will need a recommendation for. Okay. To get to I the would board. recommend that we move forward and put that on the agenda then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll second that. Okay. Item four: booster station and tanks projects. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay, so Canyon Swings Enterprises is, um, they finished up the installation of the pump cans and suction piping up there for the booster station, and they pressure tested uh, the discharge piping. They're finishing that today, and they were uh, pouring the building footings today. So that's moving along. We'll have pictures at the uh, board meeting. Um, they've also been working on getting the uh, communication towers installed. They're just about done with that. Um, there's the tank, the gateway tank, which you know has been already erected, but they're all they're doing the coating and uh, putting on some of the other piping and like overflow piping and such onto the tank. There's a special inspector out there for the coating inspections. Uh, the C-zone tank construction will start on Monday the 10th. Uh, the ring wall is all there and the berm has been done and they did put the oil sand down there last week. So that's where we're at with those. Okay. Thank you. Any questions? No. Okay. Okay. Item five, arsenic treatment facilities. So we're in the process of taking them offline for the winter and also at plant one beginning the process of removing the media in preparation for pure flow to be on site. Still tentatively scheduled for November 7th to begin installation of the stainless steel under drains. Any questions at all on that? Okay, thank you, Jace. All right, item six, solar production. Uh, for the month of September at our uh, phase one sites, we had actual savings for solar of $50,066 uh, against the guarantee of 45969 So ever since they've fixed the issues we're having out there, we're, we, we were always coming in above, but now we're even that much higher. As far as phase two, which is at, out at Well 35, we had uh, savings of 2123 versus $1,900 in guarantee. All right, item seven, future agenda items. I have none. None for me. Okay. Okay, it's 2.05, we will adjourn.